Hi students, today we will discuss a problem of mechanical vibration in which we have to find out the natural frequency of the system. We have a question here. This question came in gate 2017 of 2 marks and we have to find out the natural frequency for this system. Here we have a rod. We have a rod. The length of the rod is L. Total length of the rod is L. We have a spring here. We have a spring here. The stiffness of both the springs are same. It's of K and this is of also K. And we have a mass and the ma little mass is placed at the end of the rod which is of small m. Okay. And the rod is hinged at O which is at a distance of free end which is at a distance of L by 3 from the free end. Okay. So we have to find out the natural frequency for this system. We have different kind of methods to find out the natural frequency for any mechanical system. Like we have an energy method, we have equilibrium method, we have, we have relay, relay method. I will use to solve this problem energy method. So I will find out the frequency, natural frequency of this system by energy method. I will use here energy method. So what I will do in energy method. I will write the total energy of this system. I will write the total energy for this system. For this spring, for this rod, for this small mass m and for this spring also. So I will write, uh, write the total energy for this system. Okay. So what will be the total energy for this system? Consider that this rod we apply, uh, we disturb this system, we disturb this mechanical system so that it can have vibration like this. Okay, so it is rotating or vibrating like this and this is making theta at any particular instant. Okay, this will be also theta. So what will be the deflection at any instant for this spring and for this spring? What will be the def uh, deflection? So the deflection for this spring, let the deflection for this spring be x1 and for this spring be x2. So x1 will be x1 will be equal to theta times of this length that is L by 3 and the deflection for this spring and mass will be x2 is equal to theta times 2L by 3 because total length of the rod is L so this part will be L minus L by 3 so we will get 2L by 3. So the deflection for this uh, spring K will be x2 will be equal to theta times of 2L by 3 where theta is the de deflection or of this rod at any instant at any time t. Okay and the mass and in the question it is given that the mass of the rod the mass of the rod which is capital M the mass of this rod is capital M and this capital M is equal to 4 times of small m. What is small m? Small m is the mass of the body which is placed at the end of the rod. Okay. And uh, and the, what will be the moment of inertia for this rod? We know that moment of inertia for a rod about the center is what? Mass of the rod length is square by 12. Okay. And if we want to find out the mass, uh, moment of inertia about this axis, about this point, because this rod will rotate about this point, the hinge which is at O. So what will be the moment of inertia about O? It will be equal to I O will be equal to ML square moment of inertia about the central axis into, we will use parallel axis theorem to find out the moment of inertia of this rod about this point O, hinge, at about hinge. So uh, by using parallel axis theorem, we can get the moment of inertia for this rod which will be equal to moment of inertia about the center plus mass into distance of the central axis or the where the CG will pass to the that point O. So the what will be the distance between the center and this point O? It will be L by 2 minus L by 3. So it will be L by 2 minus L by 3 square. So finally, we will get ml square upon 12 plus m l square upon 36. Then it will be 3 ml square plus ml square upon 36. Then I naught will be 
एम एल स्क्वायर अपॉन नाइन सो वॉट इज एम एल स्क्वायर बाई नाइन एम एल स्क्वायर बाई नाइन दिस इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ दिस रॉड अबाउट हिंज ओ वी नो दैट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर अ रॉड अबाउट द सेंटर इज दिस एम एल स्क्वायर बाई ट्वेल्व बट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द हिंज पॉइंट ओ सो वी हैव डन दिस बाई यूजिंग पैरल एक्सिस थियोरम सो वी फाइनली वी गॉट दैट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द पॉइंट ओ ऑफ दिस रॉड विल बी एम एल स्क्वायर बाई नाइन सो नाउ I will write the equation, energy equation. So total energy, total energy, total energy for this system will be equal to the energy of this spring due to the dist uh, due to disturbance. This will have some energy. The spring will have some energy. So what will be the energy in that spring? It will be half stiffness into x1 square plus energy of this spring this will be half k x2 square then plus energy of the rod which is equal to half i naught into omega square plus energy of that mass which is placed at the end of the rod it will be equal to half m v square means x2 not square okay so this is the total energy for this mechanical system we have to consider all energies okay so the total energy for this system for each component will be equal to half k x1 square half k x2 square half i not omega square half m x2 not square okay so these are the energy this is the uh, potential energy or spring energy of spring 1 spring 2 this is the spring energy of spring 2 that is potential energy of spring 2 this is the rotational energy kinetic rotational energy of the rod this is the kinetic energy of that mass m which is placed at the end of the rod now uh, i will write here all the values of x1 x2 omega x2 not okay so the total energy i will write total energy will be equal to half k x1 square so what is x we have x here so i can write here theta l upon 3 square then plus half k what is x2 x2 is this 2l theta by 3 square then plus for this half i naught omega what is omega is omega what is omega omega will be equal to the rate of change of angular displacement that will be equal to theta dot square then plus this one half m x2 dot square means derivative of the displacement of x2 that is it will be equal to 2l theta naught upon 3 square so this is the total energy of this mechanical system in terms of angular displacement theta okay so i have written the total energy for this mechanical system now what we have to do in the energy method in energy method to find out the natural frequency of any mechanical system we will write the total energy of that system and then we will uh, we will do the deriv derivative we will find out the derivative of this system with respect to time because we know that by the conservation of energy principle the total energy for this system will be constant it means that uh, with respect to time it uh, its energy will be constant this energy will be constant so the rate of change of this total energy will be equal to zero so what i will do i will do uh, find out the derivative of this equation and which i will equate that to zero so this is the energy method so rate of change of total energy with respect to time will be equal to i will find out the derivative of this part so i will differentiate this half k to theta theta dot l square by 9 so it will be the derivative of this part then we have half k similarly here 2 theta theta naught into 4 l square upon 9 okay now for this term 
for this term I will write here it will be half I naught into 2 times of theta theta double dot okay double dot means angular acceleration now for this part half m into 2 times of theta dot theta double dot into 4 l square upon 9 so I have what I have done I have differentiated this equation as we know that the total energy after differentiating the rate of change of energy with time of will be equal to zero it means that this whole part must be equal to zero because energy will be constant so this is the concept here this two will uh, cut this two will be cut by this part okay so these will cut each other then finally what we can do we can take uh, it has theta theta naught theta theta naught theta theta naught theta theta naught so we will take theta naught theta dot outside so we will have only k l square upon 9 k l square upon 9 theta plus k 4 k l square upon 9 into theta plus i naught theta double dot plus from here i can write 4 l square upon 9 m theta double dot bracket close and it will be equal to 0 The next step is that what I will do I will take theta theta outside and I will do a little calculation here so it will be 5 k l square upon 9 theta okay and this term is here I will take theta double dot outside and it will be equal to i naught plus 4 m l square upon 9 and we have, we have theta double dot outside now i can put here the value of i naught which we have calculated here so this will be 5 k l square upon 9 theta plus what is i naught i naught is capital m l square by 9 so instead of i naught i will write here capital m l square upon 9 and we know that small m is what small m is it is given in the question it is capital M by 4 so instead of small m I will write here capital M by 4 so plus 4 into capital M by 4 L square upon 9 is equal to 0 this 4 and this 4 will cut each other then finally we got that I will write here So I will write the values there I got 5 k l square 9 theta 5 k l square theta times 9 and we got we can do little calculation and it will be equal to 2 times of capital M l square upon 9 theta double dot is equal to 0 now we will compare this equation to the equation of motion okay actually this is the equation of motion for this system and we know that for by the general equation theta double dot plus omega square theta naught theta is equal to 0 this is the general equation and whatever is there with theta whatever is there with theta will be the square of natural frequency so I will write my equation of motion like this so that I can compare and find out the natural frequency of the system so this will be theta naught plus 5 k l square by 9 upon 2 capital L cap, uh, capital M l square by 9 theta is equal to 0 this 9 cut each other l square l square will cut each other 
and whatever is there with theta will be the square of natural frequency it means that omega square is equal to 5k upon 2m it means that omega is equal to under root of 5k upon m 2m 5k upon 2m so this is the natural frequency of the system finally we have got the natural frequency of the system and the natural frequency for this mechanical system will be equal to under root 5k upon 2m so this is the natural frequency what we have done here we have done nothing first of all i have written the energy equation for uh, there are there are spring one spring two mass small m then the for the rod for each part i have written the total energy for, i have written the total energy of this mechanical system because i have i have done this by using the energy method so in energy method what energy method says it says that total energy rate of change of total energy will be equal to zero so what i have done i have done nothing i have just written the total energy for this mechanical system and differentiated that with time and that will be equal to zero as total energy of the system is constant okay so i have written the total energy this is my total energy this is one spring one spring two this is for rod kinetic energy of the rod rotational kinetic energy of the rod this is the kinetic energy of the that is small mass m okay so and uh, for all the uh, i have substituted and differentiated i have substituted uh, x1 here this is x2 this is my omega this is my x2 dot okay i have substituted all the values and then differentiated after differentiating i got this equation after doing little arrangement this is my final equation and which should be this should be equal to zero because i have differentiated it and this will be equal to zero because this is the total energy okay after doing some arrangement finally i got the equation of motion so this is my equation of motion here i have got the equation of motion by using the energy method okay this is my equation of motion comparing this equation of motion with the general equation of motion okay comparing this so whatever is there with the displacement term will be the square of natural frequency so this is my square of natural frequency so finally i got under root 5k upon 2m okay i thank you i i hope this lecture is clear to you